Taser deployed. Shot fired. Hey. Ow. 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 Oh god, there's a shit ton of them. It's in Lincoln 2199. Oh god. Headed towards Route 68. In pursuit of a uh, gray corridor uh, sedan. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. Today we are headed out with the Del Perro Police Department with these awesome skins from Tom 3K uh, on uh, Infidel's uh, Blaine County Law Enforcement Vehicles. Uh, excellent pack that I definitely recommend you guys check out. Um, and these skins will fit on a variety of bases, so you can uh, try them on some other vehicles as well. Uh, you'll find links to uh, both Inf Infidel's Discord and these links down in the description. But uh, yeah, we're going to head out today down here in the city, see what we can get into. Don't really have anything else to say, so let's get started. Okay, sure, I guess. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. This looks like it's a, a prisoner transport. We'll go ahead and run down there and see what's going on. I don't know why I gotta go do this, but whatever, I guess. It's alright, not everything's all glamorous and investigations and car chases and robberies and we're gonna go around this guy now pretty sure that's the siren of our you know what a obviously you don't know how to drive at all anyway I think our guys are right here yep and pull up here behind this car I guess 10 Lincoln 21 I'm on scene all right let's see what we got here you have to sit there with your siren on, my guy. Hey! What's up, man? Hey, glad you're here. Uh, the person I arrested has an outstanding bench warrant. Thanks for taking them in for me. Much appreciated. Alright. What's up, man? Stop. Stop walking around, dude. I guess he's following me. Come on, dude. Come over here. Now stop walking around. I'd like to actually get him stop and stop the ped. That would be amazing. Okay. We're going to do it this way. Jack. Can I maybe please... Now I see why I don't do this call. Dumbass. Oh, God, I don't want to die. There we go. Got him. Yay, okay. Now I'm going to tell him to follow me, and I'm going to tell him to stop following me, and we should be good. And also... Since you're apparently a freaking idiot and don't know how to turn your siren off, you could just go into oblivion. All right, man. So listen, dude, I realize he probably already patted you down, but I'm going to... Stop fucking moving, dude. Stop. There we go. We're going to go pat him down here. All right, so he's got a set of keys, a shopping list, an out-of-state concealed carry permit, and a list of groceries. All right. So if you had anything illegal on him, I don't know about it. Come on, dude. Go ahead and grab him and put him in the car here. Probably not a smart idea to set the ped to automatically follow the person. Just throwing that out there. Anybody who, you know, would like to make call outs, think about that for a minute. Have a seat in the car, man. I watch him get right back out of the car. Hello? Try to follow me. Okay, he didn't do that at least. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and run his name then. That shattered the shit out of the fourth wall, didn't it? All right, so we've got John Mason here. John's a guy. He does have a warrant for uh, trafficking in uh, LSD. It's his first offense. It's a federal warrant, actually. Uh, he has priors for, attempt to commit, or for attempting to commit a felony to offense. Uh, he refused to take a breath test on probably... I don't know why it would be charged differently, but probably that uh, expired driver's license charge. And then trafficking cocaine. And that's a federal offense, too. So this dude has definitely been in trouble before with the federals for, uh, for running drugs. So we will charge him for that. All right, cool. 10 like a 21, you can show me en route to the jail transporting one. Alright, cool. So yeah, we're going to get this guy transported down to the jail, and then uh, we'll see what else we can get into. You keep checking in with me, you better get laid down. Oh. 10 like a 21, show me out with one. Alright. Get on the ground. Start me another unit. Get on the ground, dude, right now. Lay down. Lay down. That's the guy right there. 
He's recording now. I told you to lay down, dude. Stay on the ground. Let's see if I can. I love it when it does this, man. Let me tell you. Can I have the option to fucking handcuff him, please? Dude, come on, game. Thank you. Today has been a, a day of non-starters. I'm starting to become kind of angry. Still Lincoln 21, I've got one in custody. Come on, man, let's step over here. All right. Our other guy took off. I didn't have a chance to get to him. All right, man, come here. Face this wall right here, dude. I'm going to pass you down. Dude, listen, do you have anything on you illegal? Anything you want to tell me about, man? What am I going to find when I search you, dude? Might have a knife on you? Okay, dude. Well, you're lucky you didn't use it on that guy, man. You'd be going to jail for more than assault, dude. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pat you down, dude. Hold still. Of course, I mean, really, to be perfectly fair, I don't know that I can take him to jail for assault. We don't have a fucking... Well, I, I, I witnessed the misdemeanor, so... Anyway, he's got an unloaded uh, Rossi 3 357 revolver. He's got a Makarov. He's got a brandy bag containing some baggies of uh, marijuana, which I couldn't really care less about. Maze Bank credit card and a faded Vice City postcard. So he's got two guns on him, though. He's got a gun and he's got an unloaded gun. I could take him for those. So, all right, dude, what was that all about, man? Why did you Why did you just run up and punch that guy, dude? What was that all about, man? Let's see here. Why did you do that? I just signed my death warrant? Okay, that's fine, dude. Whatever. I mean, you want to add charges, that's fine, dude. We can charge with menacing, too. But why did you do that, dude? Why did you run up and just hit that dude, man? Somebody disrespected you. He disrespected your sister, so you decided to fuck him up in public? Not smart, man. Not smart. Come on, dude. Let's go. Man, you can get out of here if you want, dude. I appreciate you. I wasn't sure what I had, dude, so I called for another unit. I appreciate you, man. Go have a seat in the back of the car, buddy. We're going to go ahead and clear the road, too. Have a seat. Hello? Go ahead and just I'm late. Move your ass. get over here. here. We got out of the way here. I'm going to let that guy get out of here. About two. He might have witnessed some stuff, though. All right, dude, sit tight. Hey, Ask him about that. Yo, hey, man. So I appreciate you hanging around, dude. Did you, uh... Let me see here. Nope, I guess... Nope, it's not him. It's, uh... This dude out in the middle of the street for some reason. Well, that's not the guy who got hit. So, hey, man, uh, you don't need to be standing around in the street, dude. You can go. I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. All right. Yeah. Sir, oh, get out of the way, dude. No. All right. Anyway. All right, well, we'll go back and run the guy's name. Well, we got him. Mean, I'm, I'm going to charge him for the assault. I'm going to assume we're going to track that guy down and, and then talk to him, and he's going to want to he's gonna want to press charges. In the meantime, though, let's run the serial numbers on those guns. All right, let's see here. So we have a, an unloaded Rossi 357 revolver. It's got a it's got a serial number of Lincoln 187104 Frank. It's valid. Uh, it is registered to Bruno Kleenex, which is our guy. What about this Makarov though? Makarov is uh, is uh, boy 501181 Lincoln, also registered to Mr. Kleenex. So all right, cool. All right, so he's got two. He, they're valid guns. He doesn't have a concealed carry permit. Still not a constitutional carry state yet. So, uh, let's see here. He might have a concealed carry permit, though. He actually does not. Also, he ha he does not have a felony. He just has a fireworks violation. Okay, cool. So, But he is not 21, so he can't have firearms. So I'm not even sure. So, that means someone bought these for him, but it shouldn't really be in his name. Maybe they used a fake ID. I don't know, but he's definitely looking at some charges now. So, that's some felony concealed carry charges. Um, I don't know if I have a federal charge for straw purchase or not. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think uh, I think misdemeanor assault just became the least of Mr. Kleenex's problems. So, all right, let's ask him about the guns, though. Well, well let's explain. All right, man. At this point in time, you're under arrest because you're 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 20 years old. You have two firearms on you. You can't have handguns. Um, they're registered to you, and I'm not really sure how that's possible. So, uh, I mean, here's the thing, dude. You have the right, you, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, I'm going to be appointed by the state of San Andreas. Do you want to talk to me, man? Do you understand your rights? You want to tell me your side of the story? Okay. All right, dude. So tell, tell, tell me about these guns, man. Where'd you get the guns from? That's your cousin's gun? Okay, your cousin just has to be named the same as you because that's who they came back to, dude. They came back to you. I mean, his cousin could have the same name. I don't fucking know. But uh, what are you carrying them around for, dude? Did you piss off the Madrazo cartel? Yeah, you, you seem like you're good at pissing people off, dude. 
Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna lie, man. So, you know, here's the thing, dude. Like, the issue I have here is you're not 21, dude. You can't have a firearm. Do you, do you, do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Okay. Well, yeah, it's, whether you like it or not, dude, that's how it is. So, all right, dude. Well, like I said, at this point in time, you're under arrest. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna get him charged, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get him. Uh, we'll get him transported, and we'll see what else is going on. All right, well, that's an improper turn if I ever saw one. Go ahead and just pull this Granger over here. Wow, well, sorry you feel that way, man. Dispatch, I'm going to be on a stop. Come on, dude, let's go. You can't fucking stop right here. There we go. It right, looks like he's going to pull over right there. What is it with people trying to pull up on the sidewalk? This is like the third person I've tried to stop. That's done this anyway. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking fix his car because this shit drives me nuts. <laughs> hey, look at that! It's fixed. Anyway, all right. Dispatch final stop location will be six one six Bay City Avenue. All right, let's see what we got here. It's a Granger, I believe. Yeah, Granger, and it's a uh, uh, John Sam David twelve eighty five uh, JSD one two eight five valid and clear to a uh, Billy Jameson. That sounds familiar. Billy is uh, valid and clear as well with a handgun permit. So, all right, cool. Let's get to talk to him. Hey, man, how you doing today? I'm Officer Devin Del Perro, Police Department. Do you have your ID, proof insurance, all that good stuff on you? The strong smell of alcohol from the car. Yeah, there we go. You got your ID? Who we got here? We got it. We got Billy Jameson. Right. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then, uh, passenger, do you have your ID on you, sir? You got your ID? And this is, uh, Hannibal Jones. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks. So let's go ahead and just, uh, let's check their seat belts. Driver's seat belts on. Passenger seat belts on. Okie dokie. Uh, really not sure what the hell that's all about. Let's go ahead and ignore that little error there. I believe that's actually from my DLC traffic script thing. So, all right, man. Hey, uh, just want to show my body cam recording, all right? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, man. Go ahead and record me. Absolutely. I don't mind at all. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over today, bud? You don't really care? Okay. All right, well, I'll let you know, man. When you were turning onto Bay City Avenue back there, you made a left-hand turn from a right-hand turn lane. Can't do that, dude. It was a, uh, it was an improper turn, my guy. Actually, that's not what I wanted. Uh, you did signal. I feel like, don't we have an improper turn? I, I, I swear we do. Uh, am I just not seeing it here? Oh, well, whatever. That'll work. What did he say? I was coming off private property. I don't have to. No, you were coming off a road, my guy. Like that's not how that works, dude. So, all right, dude. Where are you guys coming from today? Don't worry about. It. Okay, where are you headed to? To the hospital. Okay. All right. Who's your? Uh, you guys had anything to drink today? How many hours does alcohol stay in your system? Well, it depends on the size of the. Uh, depends on the size of the alcohol, man. Uh, you know, the size of the container you were drinking. How much have you had to drink, dude? No, you don't necessarily have to answer that if you don't want to, but I am getting a strong odor of alcohol come out of the car, man. So why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you step out of the car for me so I can determine whether it's coming from the car or it's coming from you? If it's coming from the car, that's fine. If it's coming from you, then we have a problem. Tim Lincoln 21, start me another unit. Come on, man, let's step over here out of the road, okay? Backup needed Big City Avenue. All right, cool. We're going to step right here. So I'm still kind of getting a strong odor of alcohol off you, man. So I do believe you've been drinking today. Is that right? Can I prove it? Well, I don't know. Uh, I can, I'm can. i getting a strong smell of alcohol off you. You're slurring your speech. You know, I mean, you're definitely showing me signs of intoxication here, my guy. How much have you had to drink today, man? One bourbon, one scotch, or one beer? All right, George. Well, that's fine, man. How long ago was that bourbon, scotch, and beer? Well, as you asked me previously, that would help me determine, you know, how long it's been since you drank and whether it's out of your system or not. But what would yeah. really be easier here Is would you? be, you know, uh, would be a field sobriety test. So are you are you interested oh, in taking a field here, sobriety buddy. test for me today? How about yourself? Is that really necessary? Fuck it. No, I refuse. All right, man, that's fine. Well, it's totally your right to refuse. If you don't want to take... Well, Jesus. All right. If you don't want to take it, that's totally fine, man. Um, how about a breath of... So the state of San Andreas requires me to offer the opportunity to take a breathalyzer test. If you don't want to, it's totally fine. But just understand that if you do refuse a breathalyzer test, your license will be suspended for at least a year, if not longer. So that being said, would you consent to a breathalyzer test? You don't think so? All right, man, that's fine. All right, dude, that's totally fine, man. 
In that case, though, why don't you go ahead and turn around and face away from me? I am a place you're under arrest for operating your vehicle under the influence of alcohol. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You can't afford one to be pointed by the state of San Andreas. She's got rapid. Yeah. So, like, I can see how your eyes are moving, man. Like, uh, you're presenting all the classic signs of of alcohol intoxication. Do you understand the rights I explained to you? Of course you do? Okay, that's fine. That's, that, that's fine and great, man. Do you have anything illegal on you you'd like to tell me about? You do? Okay, well, I'm not going to find when I pat you down, man. A little heroin? Oh, okay, all right. You know, everybody just carries a little heroin on them, right? That's completely normal, except for... Excuse me, except for it's totally not, man. What about the vehicle, man? You got anything illegal in there? No? Okay. What about your buddy in there, man? Who's he to you? Let's see here. Uh, that's accomplices, yeah. Who's your buddy in the car, man? It's a sovereign citizen of the United States. I don't have to answer that. That's a weird time to play the soft sit card, man. But all right, we're going to go with it. That's totally fine, dude. But first, we're going to patch you down, okay? Just hold still, man. Let's see if I can find that little hair on you said you had on you. So he's got a... Uh, 32 Walther, uh, 32 ACB Walther, a passport, and an appointment card for Dr. Isaiah Freelander. So, he does have a handgun permit. So, all right, man. Well, you you do have a handgun permit, and I did forget to ask you about that. So, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lay that not gonna lay that wrap on you, dude. But I am gonna remind you that you cannot be in possession of a firearm if you are under the influence of alcohol. So, at this point in time, you're also under arrest for uh, being in possession of a weapon while under the influence of alcohol. Oh, yeah, but I have a seat there. in the back of my car, man. I get the special treatment, you know. All right, buddy. Have a seat. Thank you, Mr. Well, Jameson. Like an unfortunate last name. So. Hey, how you doing? You step out of the car for me, sir. I appreciate that. All right, let's see here. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. Let's see what he's got going on with him. He doesn't appear to be under the influence, so. All right, man. So listen, dude. Um, what's your name, man? I know you already showed me your ID once. You Let me see it right again, here. all right? Oh, yeah, this is Hannibal Thank Jones. You. Dispatch, can you run one by name and date of birth? Am I going to find anything on about you? You got any warrants or anything, Hannibal, you want to tell me about? Let's see here. He does have an expired license, so I'm not going to be letting him drive the car out of here, I guess. So, no warrants, though. All right, Hannibal. So, I just want to explain to you what's going on here, man. All right. So, your buddy's going to jail uh, for OBI. Uh, he also had a gun on him, and he can't, you know, have that while he's drunk. Okay? You understand? Well, that sucks. What are the charges? Well, I just explained that to you, actually. Um, is there anything illegal in that car you'd like to tell me about? No, there isn't? Okay. All right, man. Well, why don't we just come step right over here? Because I am going to search a car. So step right over here for me, okay? I just want you to have a seat on the ground for me, okay? And if everything's cool and, and, and you know, copacetic in the car, then I'm going to let you get on out of here, all right? You can just have a seat on the ground for me, okay? All right, dude. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just sit down right there. My partner's going to hang out with you. Sir, can I help you with something? All right. Can you watch him for me? I appreciate it. Just go ahead and see what's going on in the car. Both of them said there wasn't nothing in here, so we'll see. All right, so she's got a notebook on English grammar, a slice and dice pizzeria receipt, a hacksaw, a t-ball ticket, a zebra bar, uh, some homie Gina golf shorts, and a uh, bottle of Claritin D, as well as some homie Gina golf gloves. So, I mean, maybe they're coming from golfing or something, you know, and they, uh, you know, had some drinks at the clubhouse. And anyway, all right, Hannibal, you can stand up for me, buddy. So here's the deal, man. Uh, he's going to jail. Your license expired, so I can't let you drive out of here with his car or anything, even if he would want you to. So at this point in time, man, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut you loose, okay? You can go ahead. And, oops, you can go ahead and call somebody to uh, come get you or whatever you want to do. Just go ahead and clear off my scene, okay? Yeah, I'm on vacation. All right, bub. Have a nice day. So, all right, cool. Hey, you you could probably take off. I appreciate you coming out though. Thanks for the backup. All right, cool. Um, dispatch, can I get a tow truck? So we'll go ahead and get a tow out here for the Granger, uh, and then we'll go ahead and transport this guy down to the jail. We'll let him sober up and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to pretty much do it for this scene. So uh, let's get to the next. The hell's this all about? Turned around here. Let me do like my 200 point turn here. Got a guy running. Come on, let's go. I don't know what this guy's running for. I don't know what he did, but he's running for this cop now, so... Get the taser out here. On the ground, dude. You're done. Stop right there, man. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground, dude. Lay down. Lay down on the ground. Is he gonna, does he have a fucking gun? I swear I saw a gun for a second. Lay down. 
Don't move, dude. Don't fucking move. What the hell? What what part of don't move was unclear? Put your hands on your back, dude. Put your hands on your back. Ten like a twenty-one, and we got one in custody. All, units. All right. In custody. Anybody want to explain to me what we were doing with this guy? He does seem to be under the influence of narcotics. Come on, man. Let's walk back over to our car. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? All right, cool. Let's go ahead and just run him back over to our we car here. Uh, no, I can't take that dispatch. Strawberry. I just, uh, I just told you I was busy, actually. Copy that. Ten. I don't know why you would try to give me a call right if I told you I had somebody in custody, but, uh, hey, you know what? Whatever. Dispatching is hectic, and she probably just got confused. So, nice tomorrow, is what it is. All right, man. So, look. At this point in time, dude, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, will be appointed to by the state of San Andreas. Um, we'll find out if he understands the right to I mean, He's Basically, you're under arrest for uh, you're under arrest for obstruction of official business. I don't know why he was running from that cop, but he clearly was running from the cop. Oh, we have a person down there. Ten like a twenty-one. Can you start me an ambulance? Oh, everyone is just so nice here, and my bosses are great. Well. 10 like a 21, start me an ambulance. One of them is a real bitch, but I think it's ambulance. really shitty about not wanting to start an ambulance all of a sudden. Alright, cool. Hang out with him for a second. I'm going to pull up here off the road. Actually, I'll just pull up right here. Fuck it. Let's go check on this person over here. I didn't realize we had a person down. He must have hit that person real fucking hard to knock him out like that. Hey, man, are you okay, bud? Alright, so it's still not sending the damn ambulance. You guys heard it. It accepted it. You gonna do it this time? Yay! There we go. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway. Let's go ahead. Alright, man. Hey, you okay, buddy? It looked like he, uh, looked like he hit you a good one here. She's gonna jog right over the body. Yep. Sure is. People are so rude these days. Alright, cool. So this guy has, uh, this is John Irons, and he's got a can of Sprunk, a, uh, a GoPro. Hopefully that GoPro is recording. A Trevor Phillips industry business card with a phone number for Wade Herbert on the back. Uh, an old parking ticket, a small religious holy book, a medical marijuana patient card, and a legitimate FIB badge. Oh, he just, dude, he just punched out a fucking, possibly punched out a fucking FIB agent. That's crazy. I wonder why he would do that. I wonder if he knew that he was an FBI agent. You know what, let me just, let me just help out here a little bit. Fucking taco truck is just being incredibly dumb. Here. You're here. Hopefully Tom is on our side. Yes, hopefully it is indeed. Let me get out of your way. These people are just sitting on this bench having a show. Any signs wow, they anything? both wore their fucking vests. Jeez. It's all right, guys. Just a, just a dude getting punched. You're okay, man. So they're going to try to give this guy treatment here. See if we can come up with I guess I can close the... No way. All right, looks like he is alive. We'll have to go down and get a statement from him. They're going to... Looks like they're going to... Well... Nah, I'm going to let him transport him. Fuck it. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna roll with the fiction that he is an FBI agent or an FIB agent, however, so. Alright, cool. I'm gonna charge it as if I'm gonna charge it as if he was a federal agent. We'll see what you know, we'll see what the court has to say about it, but Hey man. At this point in time you're under arrest for fel uh, felony assault. I don't know if you knew this or not, but uh that dude was a federal agent. What are you guys doing? Just walk around a fucking car. I swear to God. There you go. There's a path. This game is driving me nuts today. Anyway, um, let's see here. All right, man. So what were you running from that cop for, dude? Let's see here. What are you running for, man? He was pissed off? Okay, and is that why, is that why you decided to punch that dude in the face, man? They were talking shit about your brother? Okay. All right, dude. All right, all right. I can understand why you would want to punch somebody for talking shit about your brother. Not that you can, though. Here's my question, though, dude. Did you know he was a fucking federal agent? Okay, well, what that means is you're under arrest for felony assault, dude. Because, you know, you punched a fucking FIB agent in the face. You know? I mean, technically, he has to be, like, operating, you know, in his official capacity. But honestly, I'm not really sure how we're going to... We'll let the courts decide how we're going to... What is that fucking ambulance doing? All right, anyway... That guy's gonna die on the way to the hospital because that ambulance doesn't know what the hell it's doing. All right, man, do you have anything illegal on you want to tell me about? You're not answering? Okay, dude, that's fine. Go ahead. Excuse me. Go ahead and turn around and face away from me, dude. I'm gonna pat you down. So, all right, cool. He, he did appear to be under the influence. Looks like he's just out trying to fight somebody who talks some shit about his brother. He's got a pack of gum, a plane ticket to Vice City, a picture of an unidentified man with whore written across it. All right, this is Andrew uh, Falcon. 
Falcone, something like that. So, all right, man. So look, here's the thing, dude. You know, you punch some dude in the face. You can't really be doing that, man. So, all right, well, let's ask him this. Have you uh, have you used narcotics today, man? Of course not. Okay, all right. Well, you're you're acting kind of like you're high, dude. But it is what it is, man. You didn't have anything on you, so it's fine. Why don't you step on over here for me? Have a seat in the car. Go ahead and have a seat, man. Hey, dude, I appreciate you. You can take off if you want to, bud. I really appreciate you coming out, though. Sorry. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and run this guy's name. Let me just blew a tire. That sucks. This is Andrew. So we can't run uh, Mr. Iron's name. We're just going to assume, like I said, he was a federal. He's got an expired license. Um, okay. Very bad about having expired things, as appears. So, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to charge this guy. Like I said, I think we're going to roll with the uh, with the fiction that dude was an FBI agent, FIB agent, whatever. Um, and just uh, see where things go from there. It's actually just going to end up being a felony five, I want to say, instead of a misdemeanor one. So we'll go from there, and I think uh, I think we're going to do one more. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what else we can get into. I've been following that uh, ruiner up there for a minute, and he's driving pretty erratically. He was also sitting in a green light for a bit, so I want to get caught up with him and run his plate at least. Ten like a twenty-one. Can you check a plate? We're kind of getting close to the end of our jurisdiction here. It's uh, X-ray Adam plate. Paul six five seven zero. Adam Paul six five seven zero. Target is ten four. Well, no, we'll go for that guy instead. See if we can get caught up with him here. Don't get in my way, guys. It looks like he's going to take a right. He just jumped over the curb. He's taking a right. He just struck a vehicle. Got into a wreck here. I'm going to try to pin him in here. I think I've got him pinned right here. Let me get my gun out here. Can you get your, get your, get your fucking gun out, please? Stop! Stop! You better stop, dude. Get your hands up. Go down to your knees. Go down to your knees right now. Dispatch, get me more units. We need to close the road. Okay, there we go. Don't move, sir. Do not fucking move. Do not fucking move. I want to get some more units on scene before we try to move on to him. We wandered into Rockford here, but all right, cool. All right, looks like we got some other units coming. All right, cover me, guys. Cover me. Keep an eye on him for me. Instead of just running to me, that'd be really cool, but that's all right. Excuse me. I've got you covered. Yeah, I appreciate that. No, you, you actually fucking don't, but that's okay. All right, sir, do not move. Do not move. Do not move, man. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back right now. Dispatch, I've got one in custody. We're going to be at a Dorset and Heritage. I got your back. There we go. Right. Wow, I actually got it. I'm surprised. All right, man. Come on, dude. Let's go ahead and just step over here out of the road. Get him back over to our car, at least. Actually, we can't. Fa face the front of your car. This car, I should say. You have anything illegal on you want to tell me about, man? What you got on you, dude? You got anything illegal? Don't fucking move. Quit trying to move away from me, man. All right, dude. All right, you, you don't want to say shit? That's fine, dude. I'm going to go ahead and pat you down, dude. Don't move. Hold still, man. Quit, quit being squirrely. You're going to get hurt. All right, so he's got a baggie containing a white powder substance, bikini universe receipt, a uh, 10 millimeter vial of insulin, a pack of menthol debonairs, a valid out state gun permit, a pocket digital camera, and an empty condom wrapper. This is Harry, Harry Thursway. All right, can you guys like maybe step over here with him for a minute, like off the road, so that I can move my car? We can get this road opened up. You know, he does have it. So he has an out of state gun permit and a proper San Andreas permit, which actually isn't unrealistic, but. All right, cool. Can you guys hang out with him for a second? Ooh, I appreciate that. Money. I'm going to go ahead and search a car real quick, too. Uh, we actually... And he does kind of look like he's drunk, don't he? Oh, well. I'll let Rockford deal with him. Looks like she's dealing with him right now. So, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and get the plate number and then search the vehicle here. See what's going on with it. All right, cool. So in the gauntlet is a duffel bag, an empty 45 ACP pistol magazine, a golf club, Los Angeles postcard from 13, and a Badger TS smartphone. So actually, there's nothing illegal in the car. But let's go ahead and uh, dispatch. Can you check a plate? All right, so it's a gauntlet, like we know. Robert Sam David, 4523. Target license plate. 
Fired insurance, but it is a stolen vehicle. Belongs to Klaus Bauer. Traffic violation. A possible stolen vehicle. All right. Dispatch, can you get a hold of Klaus Bauer? Let him know we got his vehicle and we're gonna get it towed here. Acknowledged. And can you start me a tow truck? All right, cool. So we're going to get a flatbed out here for this thing since it's got pretty, pretty severe damage to it. The window's broken. We know there's damage to the back of it in addition to uh, probably some stuff to the front because he struck, he struck a couple vehicles as well. So now we're going to pull over here off the road like this. I don't know what that car is up to right there. But uh, all right, we're going to pull right here. Dispatch, you can open the road. There we go. Wow, that car just completely fixed it. That was crazy. Also, is that thing two-tone? Or is it just the light? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Right. We're going to let her keep working with uh, with that officer, or with that driver over there. So, All right, man. Look, at this point in time, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can afford one, I'll point you by the state of San Andreas. You understand your rights, sir. No, you don't? Okay, well, basically means you don't have to answer any questions if you don't want to without representation present. That being said, would you like to answer my questions? I'm going to take the nickel on that one. So you do understand your rights. I don't understand why people lie about shit like that. So, all right, man. But well, this way, you're, you're under arrest for uh, for grand theft of a motor vehicle. Uh, I'm going to charge him with both that and also uh, 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 being in possession of a stolen vehicle. I don't know which one it is. But uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and put him in the back of the car here. Uh, he did have that white powder on him, so we're going to go ahead and test that. I appreciate you covering me, man. I, I do appreciate your help, actually. You keep telling me you're covering me, and this time I appreciate you watching him, man. But you did do a very good job of covering me when you got here, I'm just saying. Anyway, that's all right. So let's go ahead and test that, uh, let's go ahead and test that powder. Let's see if it's, uh, let's see if it's heroin. That is a nice car, actually. Nope, not heroin. All right, is it, is it meth? Also, not telling me how much it is. I'm gonna assume it's a small amount. It is methamphetamine. Sorry, he's looking at felony five charges for possession of methamphetamine, in addition to felony uh, charges for the car for running from us. Got a whole variety of charges coming from him. And I think that's gonna pretty much do it for this episode. So we will uh, we'll be back to court. All right. So we've got quite a few people to do uh, court with here. But uh, as you're about to see, uh, there was quite a la uh, gap between the two parts of me recording this episode. So. Um, anyway, uh, these two have already revealed. Uh, Glenn Cool was the gentleman that we were dispatched out to uh, give a ride to. Um, another unit had actually hooked him up for a warrant and then asked us to transport him. And that warrant was a federal charge for trafficking in LSD. And apparently the federals are just not fucking around with him because he's doing life in prison on that. So goodbye, Mr. Cool. Uh, enjoy your you know the rest of your life being spent in federal prison, apparently. Um, say no to drugs, kids. Uh, Bruno Kleenex was the gentleman who got into a fight with a guy right in front of us there, down there in Del Perro. We ended up getting down dealing with him. Now, the victim ran away from us. We just assumed we got a hold of them later, and they agreed to make a uh, an assault charge on him. But he also was carrying some firearms on him, and he's 20 years old, so we used the federal charge of uh, possession of firearm by a primitive person to simulate that. I'm not really sure that eight years is correct for that. That seems a little harsh, but I'm not sure, honestly. Though it's possible, if I remember correctly, those guns were actually registered to him, so it's possible he lied on his ATF form, and that actually would get him up to, like, 10 years in prison. So maybe that is valid. Regardless, he's doing a total of 10 years in prison. Um, so he'll definitely be old enough to buy a gun when he gets out, but then he can't because he's a felon. So, hey, you know, whatever. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, we ended up charging with assault. So, so, so his little misdemeanor assault getting in a fight with somebody just cost him 10 years of his life, which is very sad. Very sad for Mr. Kleenex. Now into the ones that haven't revealed yet. Mr. Jameson made a made a wrong way turn. Uh, he was in the left turn lane, made a right turn. We stopped him for it. Ended up uh, finding out he was uh, under the influence. Uh, he didn't want to take any uh, field sobriety or, excuse me, or um, breath lighter test. So there's where the refusal to take breath test comes from. That's going to get him a, a mandatory year suspension on his license. Um, also got him for weapons while intoxicated. He was a concealed carry permit holder. He did have a Walther on him, but... Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna charge him for carrying a concealed weapon. We are gonna charge him for having a gun while he was drunk. In addition to uh, OVI first offense here, and he is looking at uh, a four four months in prison with a uh, what fifteen month license suspension. That's not bad. And he's doing. I mean, the four months in prison is a little surprising actually. He must have really pissed off the judge, but he did kind of have a piss poor attitude. So, you know. 
Uh, anyway, and Andrew Falcone was the gentleman who was running from another officer when we were driving by. We saw it kind of happening and got involved. We tased him. Uh, he punched a dude on the street, knocked him, knocked him out cold, actually. Uh, actually, I'm charging with a uh, felony for assault on a peace officer because it turned out that gentleman was an FIB agent. Now, um, we'll see if the court upholds that level of charge or not, given that he was a... Um, Given that he was a police officer, but he may not have been acting in his, you know, his official duties at that point in time. So we'll see. Also, resisting arrest. Now that's only a misdemeanor because he didn't do physical harm to any of us that were trying to arrest him. Just that FBI agent who wasn't involved. Um, he's found not guilty on both. Actually, this dude must have an amazing lawyer because I've never actually seen that happen. Uh, I understand possibly why they might have dropped that charge, uh, but I'm not really sure where the resisting arrest getting dropped came from. But I do have a feeling. Uh, I'm going to get bitched at by my sergeant for this one because uh, might be something I fucked up in the charges. So look forward to that. Uh, anyway, Harry Harry Thursway, Thrustway, whatever the hell his name is, um, I ended up charging him for a vehicular assault. That's for striking vehicles uh, with his with that gauntlet he'd stole. Criminal damaging, same. Uh, he was you know, he damaged that person's property in a dangerous way. Grand Theft Auto motor vehicle, obviously, it was a stolen car. I don't actually know that he stole it, but it's a, it's an intuitive leap. Uh, failure to comply from you know for running from us. Aggravated possession of drugs for the methamphetamine and also receiving stolen property also covers the car. So this man went from no felonies to all felonies. He's found him. This is the most not guilties we've had in a long time. He's so he somehow he was found not guilty on both these. So uh, what I'm going to assume is that the person who owned the vehicle recanted the statement that it was stolen. Maybe they didn't know he took it and reported it stolen. Um, and maybe that's what happened there. But he still let us on a chase. He's still looking at two years in prison, and he's got a 36-month license suspension when he gets out. So he won't be driving legally for a while. But I do hope everybody enjoyed this episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. I know the releases have been kind of slow lately. Life's just kind of getting in the way of me doing my thing here. But I'm going to try to get some more stuff out to you guys as soon as I can. You know, try to keep them rolling. But I appreciate everybody sticking with the channel. Um, still love seeing you guys on Discord. Still want to talk to you and all that good stuff. Love reading your comments and all that. So... You guys keep it up, and I'll try to do the same. And y'all stay safe out there, okay?